Hi, I'm Paul Pebbles from General Motors. Um, here today we're demonstrating uh, 4G LTE connectivity with AT&T and Unstar. If you come with me, we'll take a look inside the car. Okay, so what we're going to demonstrate here um, with that announcement we made this morning, or yesterday, about AT&T and OnStar and GM, uh, we're going to show you what's possible with 4G high-speed uh, data connectivity. So first thing we'll show you is we've outfitted this car with four cameras on the outside, two in the mirrors, one in the front, one in the back. And with that streaming video, you'll be able to see um, the front, the back, the rear. And what you're able to do is you can actually zoom up on any of those images. So if you think about it this way, if, if you were at a restaurant somewhere, and you want to check on your car, you can pull up an app and you can see these same images uh, on the phone as well. Go back. Um, we also threw some interior cameras in here um, so you can see what's going on in the, either the rear seat, the driver's seat, passenger seat, or back to the rear. And we can record some video. Actually, in the other car, we're doing uh, some video that you can take with you. Of course, because we've got that streaming content, we can play uh, content about the car itself. So this is about the Chevy Malibu. And with AT&T partnership, we also have the ability to do uh, live streaming into the car. So these are some channels that are actually uh, from the US. And this is really streaming in live right now um, over IP into the vehicle using 4G LTE. And of course, because you can do that, you can also have um, movies uh, streaming into the car. So, for example, click on over here. See what I'm saying? So, if you think about this, you can either in the rear seat you can watch these videos um, in the headrests, or uh, we will also have a Wi-Fi hotspots in the vehicle. So, if there's kids in the back with a tablet or something like that, they'll be able to use that Wi-Fi hotspot to pull down the video and then use the car's 4G connectivity to get that video into the into their tablets. Of course, what we announced back in January is we already have the ability to put apps in the car. So this is an example here of some of the companies that we've either talked to or are in the process of putting into the car. But again, right now, you can, uh, if you're an app developer, you can go to developer.gm.com, sign up, build your app, and then request that it becomes one of the apps that gets put into the, into the GM vehicles. So if we just pick one like TuneIn Radio, we can download and install that into the car. Oops. And what you see is there. So that's really uh, that's what we're really showing is what is high bandwidth into the car delivered for uh, for our customers. Okay. Mm -hmm. is it, you can see it okay. So we also have the ability to, um, like you saw in the car, if you're somewhere far away, you can still see the cameras around the car that shows you what's going on if you think somebody might be trying to steal your car. That's it. Also, we've got the ability to do um, just data from the car remotely. So, for example, if you want to check on your tire pressure, or if you want to see your fuel or oil levels, you can see all that. And of course, that allows us to do remote commands. So we can do a lock and unlock, remote start the car, we can do all that remotely. As a matter of fact, I'll do a lock right now. It takes a few seconds to connect to your vehicle. Hopefully only a few seconds. Let's see here. <laughs> okay, maybe more than a few seconds, but anyways, it can lock the vehicle and it can also unlock the vehicle. Okay, okay, sorry about the motor. Oh, there we go. No. Okay, now it's locked, and now we just hit the uh, unlock. There we go. Okay. <laughs> because of cellular connectivity in this building, sometimes it's a little slower than normal. Mm -hmm. So, great. Okay.